Pale Blue Dot, part of the Sterega Group, has worked for a number of years to be a leader in the UK CCS sector. Our ACORN project is due to be one of the first industrial scale carbon capture projects in the UK. Working together with Carbon Clean, we have been supported by the UK government's world leading innovation funding programmes to help develop and progress cutting edge technology that will now take carbon capture and storage to a commercial scale. Carbon Clean's proven and environmentally sustainable technology will be invaluable for ACON project. We currently have 38 operational sites from where we are developing deep expertise that we will be able to bring to this project. Both Carbon Clean and Paleview Dot are entrepreneurial businesses funded and supported by British government. And with this partnership, there is a clear signal and indication that the ACON project is on its track to become the first industrially decarbonized carbon capture and storage project in the UK. The ACORN project has a crucial role to play in helping decarbonise our energy system. It will provide critical infrastructure at scale that will cost effectively transform carbon intensive industries across Scotland, across the UK and even Europe, helping build a fairer, more resilient economy while sustaining and creating low carbon jobs. The UK government has set a very ambitious plan to achieve a 78% decarbonisation by 2035, a plan supported by the 10-point plan the government has already announced. But decarbonising heavy industry is very difficult and the significant cost barrier comes from the cost of carbon capture, a problem Carbon Clean is solving today. The CO2 being captured at the St Fergus gas terminal is one of the key foundations for the ACORN project and will kickstart the ACORN transport and storage system, opening up access to Scotland's excellent CO2 storage resource by the mid-2020s. If this potential is realised, by 2030 ACORN could become one of the largest CCS projects in the world. For the UK, this would achieve at least half the CO2 emissions as set out in the UK Government's 10-point plan for a green industrial revolution.